Hello, thanks for joining me today. Now let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to need to make these two dices are going are um, three of these four square hanging uh, door decors, I guess they're, they're considered. They have them for every season. They're always in stock. Um, and then you're going to use some of this wood style contact paper. Now you don't have to use this contact paper. You can easily paint them. Um, I just wanted them to look like the ones I've seen. Um, actually, while I was at Michael's shopping um, through the Easter clearance items, I went through their spring and new items that they were stocking up on, and I saw these cute dice, and I thought, wow, I can make these. And actually, um, they're about $12 each, so even on with your 50% coupon, they'll be 6 So. I figured I can still make it at a better price, more budget friendly. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is, if you use a contact paper, cut each one, each square out individually and then stick them onto the squares. Now, um, I put some hot glue on this one, um, but then I didn't like the way it looked, so I just went ahead and glued, you know, just stuck them on there the way they were which worked fine. There's no need for you to put con uh, glue on it. So once you're done putting um, the contact paper, sticking the contact paper to each square, we're going to start gluing them together. Now, I only used hot glue, um, but you can easily, you can use a fix-all glue or um, E6000 if you want to, but honestly, the glue gun was just enough. Um, it wasn't strong enough for it to not fall apart or anything like that, and my kids actually played with them for a while, so I know they won't fall apart. Again, you're just going to go ahead and glue four, um, well, glue the, the squares together to make a, a box. Now, I had thought about using the actual gift boxes that they have at Dollar Tree, thinking, wow, that'd be a lot easier. But um, since the lid was going over the box um i thought i would it wouldn't look right to have it like that for a dice so i just opted for this but i'm sure you can use it um if you want to cut the lid or something like that and make it you know you can use them that way but again this is just the way i chose to make them <coughs> excuse me then you go ahead and start gluing them all together. If you notice, I put popsicle sticks inside um, the box, and that was just for strict, you know, you know more secure um, to make it more sturdy. Actually. I just didn't want it to fall apart if somebody came over and just wanted to grab it and play with it or something. Um, obviously it's a decor, but I just didn't want it to fall apart. And I just put a popsicle stick on, basically on every corner, every um, attachment area wherever I glued this, the box squares together. I can't the this wasn't very time consuming at all. Um, I want to say it was about a 30 minute project so to make both dice. If you guys decide to make this, let me know in the comments down below what um, you're going to use. Are you planning on using these squares? Are you thinking of using 
the box or maybe you guys can come up with a different um, item you can use from Dollar Tree to make these and if you do make them and you have an Instagram uh, go ahead and follow me and tag me on your pictures I love to see how yours can, comes out As you could tell I was generous with the glue um, that's just because it was the last one so once we go ahead and uh, finish our boxes and we let it cool and the, the glue to just cool down you go ahead and sand it down or if you want to keep it that way that's up to you but I wanted it to more um, distressed and more to make it look more like real wood so I went ahead and sanded all the corners and um, just just sanded it down to where I liked it I just love these square sander um, sponges, I guess. I, that's what I call them. The sander box of uh, blocks that you can get at Dollar Tree. So much easier than the paper sanders. And they last a while. I mean, for the projects that, you, that I make, I don't use it to sand my furniture or anything like that. So they last a good while. Something I have been thinking about doing and adding to my channel is I also um, do, uh, well, refurbish um, old antique furniture. Um, I didn't know if some guys are, would be interested in seeing uh, like a before and after or the steps that I do to, to redo furniture, older furniture, vintage items. Let me know in the comments down below if you like me to make some videos of that as well okay now um, this is some circles that I had with lettering on it that came in a book from Michaels um, and I've had them for a while they come in those books for scrapbooking but you can easily cut uh, contact paper cut you know regular construction paper or print them out or get some stickers um, that are black to um, use for the dice so and I just wanted to show you you can either do it with the paint which is the Waverly ink that I was using or with a permanent marker and just color in each circle you know it's just up to you but since I wanted it to look more like a chalk uh, effect I guess you could say more of a flat um, color I went ahead and did it uh, painted each one with the Waverly ink color paint. Now for the square I'm using hazelnut and then the antique wax uh, Waverly paint to distress and make this box look more like wood. And what I did is I used it more on each corner than anything else. And I did that because um, since the sticker, when I was sanding them down, the sticker kind of peeled off, which I don't mind because I wanted it that way. But you know, I just didn't want the, I wanted it just to look more distressed, more like real wood. So this is what I chose to do. Use these both paints and um, blend them together just to make it look more distressed. And if you're wondering what I'm using instead of a paintbrush, I'm using um, the makeup sponges. And then once it's, you know, because it dries up pretty quick, and then you just go ahead and sand it down um, just the way you like it, you know. Do it as much or as little as you like. 
and you just continue doing this until you're happy with the way the box looks um, on um, all the corners. And when you sand it down after the paint, just lightly sand it down. Don't um, sand it down too rough because then basically you're going to take all the paint off. And yeah, I just wanted to show you how um, once you're happy with the way you've distressed and painted your box, you go ahead and add your circles. Now these are stickers, but they're kind of old. So they started coming off. So what I did is you can see right now I'm going to... Um, glue these and with Mod Podge and then go over them with Mod Podge as well so I can make sure that they are not going to fall off. I can see making some of these dyes and just painting them white and maybe doing like a pastel color for the dots on your um, on your dice I think that would be so cute I might just make some like that and let you guys know and I'll just post a picture of them if I do decide to make them on my Instagram channel And this is what I did with the Mosh Posh. Like I said, some of them weren't sticking, so I went ahead and stuck them together with the Mosh Posh and then went over them. And any of this uh, paper that is falling from the corners, like I said, since I sanded it down, I went ahead and put Mod Podge on it as well, and um, that way they could stay. You don't need a lot, but you know, I just did a little enough. Again, you just go ahead and sand it down until you're happy. But with the paint, just go ahead and sand it down lightly. And then I'm just going to continue adding my stickers to my dice. I don't know if I'm um, putting the numbers exactly the way they're supposed to be. I'm sure there's a, a right way, but again, this is just decor, so I just put them wherever. And here they are together. What do you guys think? I hope you guys like this fun, whimsical decor for your home. And please, if you're new to my channel and you like these uh, DIYs, please subscribe. 
to my channel and don't forget to click on to the bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you. Bye.